My parents split up and my mum was going crazy at me all the time for no particular reason and even when I didn't do something wrong. So I thought, stuff it, I left. I couldn't cope with the family and with, with, the gr with my dad's girlfriend. She's been accusing a lot of things, hurting a lot of friends of mine. Dad and I were having a lot of arguments and um, he was, they were sort of, the, it was really going nowhere, the relationship, and eventually because he was the head of the household and what he said did go, he was just like, okay, this isn't working, you go. Oh, because my stepdad had a big fight with him. I had a fight with my mum and it didn't work out at home, so that's why I left. I had a few problems at home, but I didn't connect with my stepfather, so I didn't really like it that much, so... When kept did... fighting with mum and just told him, I'm moving. Mum just kept laughing and she said, no, you won't. The homelessness issue in just the south coast, let alone north coast, all of New South Wales, all of Australia has disgusted me for the last 10 years. There is good things about being homeless and there's bad things about being homeless. Um, mostly bad things because well you got to think about where are you going what are you doing who are you going to see and you know where are you going to be next after that they have no money no um, support or nothing they just leave home and they don't they just live out on the streets that's not a good thing there's no other people that would help you um, it's just I don't think people should like kids example shouldn't leave home they should talk about it and try and sort out the problem before they leave. But if they have to leave, make sure they go actually see somebody and actually know who they're gonna to talk to. If it's a situation that they've got with their parents, they should try and talk it out or maybe see a counselor or something. So Robert, how long have you been away from home now? For about three weeks now. Would you like to go back home? Yeah, I feel like I want to go back home, but I'd like a lot more respect. What do you mean by that? Like, they don't respect my how I feel and my privacy and all that. Where are you sleeping at home? Near the bridge, sometimes in the park, and sleeping in the park a few times, I got harassed by a fear from people and coming back from the pubs and all that. Childcare because he's 15, saying that he was staying with them and he was class classified as homeless. So I went in and I just sort of uh, saw him and asked him if he needed anything and um, just asked him if he was all right. I knew that it was time to let go and um, he had to make his own mistakes. So how did you feel when Jessie left home. I was quite shocked actually because we'd always got on very well and we've always been very close family. Um, he's, it, it shocked me. That was the first thing I felt. He got beaten up a couple of times because he was drinking and he sort of went full on into the freedom bit. Um, when he was bruised I just asked him did he need me and um, when he had a hangover I sort of gave him a couple of tips and told him asked him if he needed me and he didn't so and I just backed off and um, kept it as low key as I could not made a big deal of it and now um, I think because I did that he's now able to come to me and he's never going to tell me everything because he's a separate person. When I had nowhere to go up in Sydney and pretty much just had to sleep wherever you could. You had a lot of people that just take advantage of you, beat you up, you know, treat you like you're nothing. And 
I don't know, you fight back, you get in trouble off the cops. Is there more the police can do? Um, yeah, maybe we could be a little bit more tolerant in the fact that people are homeless for various reasons. We don't just think they're out doing what they want to do. All right, some, some kids do just don't want to abide by the rules at home. Some can't live at home because things have been happening. Normally we would talk to somebody, uh, particularly in the middle of the night, if we saw somebody hanging around. Um, what are they doing? What are they up to? Obviously we have to in case they're up to no good. And um, if they haven't committed an offence and that's not a problem, we'll let them go on their way. But if, it, if they have then, or they're wanted for some reason, then we might bring them back to the police station. We may even bring somebody homeless back to the police station and then go from there. It's disappointing when you do see young people that are homeless because you'd like to think they could stay at home and get on with their parents. If they can't, there's probably something wrong somewhere. Uh, and you, having a daughter of my own, uh, I would like to think you'd be able to work it out. We can't work with any youth until they're mandated by the court and then we have input into supervision and um, supporting youth. Have you had many parents come out in support of their kids? Not a great deal. It's just get my kid um, accommodation, they're not living here. Or uh, kids have had AVOs taken out against them, which is apprehended violence orders, um, and they can't live at home with their parents because of the order that says they can't live at home. Do you have any words of advice for the youth that come here? Truly make the effort to get on with your parents, use a, because you won't get any accommodation in your name um, till you're 18. And just remember, try and get it for yourself. Not all the hangers on because it's the hangers. You might be okay as a tenant, but the hangers on can smash a place, um, burn it, you name it, trash it, and you're the one that's out again, and you're the one that's looking for accommodation. I wasted so much money over the years, like so much, incredible amounts of money. On, on just partying and paying for my mates because they wouldn't get off their ass and get a job and stuff like that. A lot of the work is aimed at preventing young people from becoming homeless and, and so it's called early intervention, I guess. But a lot of it is around um, listening to what's happening when a young person is at risk of homelessness. It's work that has to be fairly flexible to respond to each different family because different families have different sorts of issues and so sometimes it can be just a whole lot of stuff has built up and things have gotten to a point where nobody's talking anymore and people are just yelling at each other and sometimes the young person doesn't have the voice so I need to be able to make sure that young the young person is able to articulate how they're feeling and what's happening and why it's got to that point, how, how it came to be like that. I guess the thing is to give each other some space, you know, don't get in each other's face, try and step back and calm yourself down before you talk about something that's a problem. Um, that would be a big help, most families find that helpful. You know what's best for you, and you always do what's best for you, like in the long run. Yeah. I always knew I wasn't going to end up staying the way I was for the rest of my life, but I wish I realised earlier and got my act together earlier. Yes, there is support out there, but there's limited support, and if you've got somewhere to stay, then hold on to it. If you can stay with your family, and and if there are problems, just work them out. Don't, don't let them escalate. Don't do it. Don't leave home. Don't do what I did. Something that I keep telling him is that whatever choices you're making now, you have to live with for the rest of your life. Get a job. That's where it all starts. Can't do anything without money and respect. Well, at my age, it's OK now, being 21 and having a baby. I found it really hard to carry a baby on my own without mum and dad's support. But with mum and dad's support, I wouldn't be there. Like, I thought of suicide, I thought of killing myself, I fell into depression, but now I've got a pride and joy looking after my son. Um, just guys, if you're out there, don't 
go and move out of home. Like there's pe people out there that love you heaps. Like there's your mum and dad. If there's a mum for you, go for it. If there's a dad for you, go for it. Basically, I think people sometimes forget that it is a family and that they do love each other. And often when people are reminded of those things, they become quite tearful and, and agree that they are. And they just need a way to, to come together again and, and find um, sort of meeting place part way. To you, to